Yeah. You're not even here either. You're uh-uh. giving twink too. We're twinks together. You We're twin are, twinks. You guys are tall twinks. <laughs> We're the twink towers. <laughs> <laughs> not twin towers. I love that for you guys. Actually, I think it's really, really fun. And why don't you bring that cockpit over here and we just? <laughs> oh, full glam. Guess we're snatched. <laughs> I guess we're I slaying the house I'm not even full glam. <laughs> yeah, you look disgusting, and we look amazingly beautiful. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk yeah, about you guys. it. Her, the one and only. You guys look so freaking snatched. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Annie, by the way. <laughs> I'm Jared. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hell of a first impression. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gorgeous first impression. I'm stunned. We were worried that a red lip would be too much for him. And no, we were right. <laughs> and we were right. <laughs> we were so right. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah. No, it's no, so no. Um, uh, no, I know. Trust me. <laughs> no, you have beautiful teeth, so it works. Oh, thank you. Okay. We were debating whether it made him look like... Um, I can't hear shit. Oh, <laughs> you gotta get it. <laughs> Give it to me, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't hear shit. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. There oh, you are. Wow. Much better, better, huh? Better. Much better. We got Manny MUA here. <gasps> um, oh, at least I hit the applause. Gagged. There we go. This is so sickening. I love the setup. You guys, this place is amazing. Thank you. Jared said, or no, Alyssa said Jared looked like if a donkey dressed up in drag. And I don't know. <laughs> Like the dragon from Shrek. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's giving dragon from Shrek, which goes like this. Oh, with a little but heart. The, the dragon was a bad bitch, though. She was bad. Yeah. So it's giving bad, baddie. Oh, fuck yeah. Baddie's West. That was the original, um, was it Happy Hands? Happy Hands? What was the one where the guy had sex with a horse a long time ago? We all saw it in middle oh, school. Oh, Mr. Happy Hands. Mr. Happy. Oh, you did? I didn't watch it. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm scared. No? I would never watched it. I was you, like, no. You, you uh, missed out on that cultural I, I never, moment? I also never watched Two Girls, One Cup. I oh, like that was also Let's cut to uh, a clip. <laughs> I, I, that was also a very cultural reset, for sure. Yeah. Um, I can't believe you missed out on that. That's so disappointing. I know, I know you've had a long, hard day. So this is the moment. Take a time for yourself. Hit the intro music and just take a break. Take a second. This is for you. I love it. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. It's always to see you again. It's great to see you. My huh? crush. I am? Well, Whoa. you didn't say the last time we were together. <laughs> there we he, go. Went, <laughs> he went for the other guy on set. And it was did, a little disgusting. You know, I have like so many types. You know, it is what it is. I think your type is just kind of whoever's closest to you in the room. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my type. It's just more proximity. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. I've seen your content recently and- you want a lot of things up your butt, no? <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with my content. That's just the reality. Oh, that is the reality. Um, Jared, that's just what it is. Jared's, you know, never experienced a human man before. I don't know if you want to. Is it called still cop- called popping a cherry or? Uh, I don't know. It, I assume so. Okay. I'm well, assuming it's still called that as well. Yeah. Well, if anyone. you don't, if you don't mind. And, um, you, and you, so you have, is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm gonna sit this one out because I already have. I'll just film it. Yeah, <laughs> God, we'll be good to go. God. I'm a great cameraman. <laughs> Alyssa, you want to be on lights? Sure. <laughs> she can be on sound. Maybe. Um, Maybe. Well, how are you? How I'm are you fantastic. actually doing? No, I was out of town recently, um, so I'm back in town. I was okay. in New Jersey for like six days. Oh gosh. And it was interesting. Oh gosh. Yeah. I've never been to New Jersey before. And what not, were you doing? And in- I was um, there for a work trip. It was benefit. Did a, a trip. I was one of their like brow coaches. I was one of their experts in the topic and it was really really fun i had a great time but i'm just glad to be back because i don't like to not be in a routine oh yeah i get yeah. that how long were you gone it's like, like six days oh that's a long that's time. The time and yeah that really throws you off new jersey is like the morning makeup of the united states you know it's like you didn't take it off the night before it's like <laughs> it looks a little put together but it's a little run down it's, and i didn't realize that i thought i was going into like jersey shore like, yeah. i thought i was coming into like oh snooky. No. The situation. I thought that's what we we're going into, and I was not that. And I was like, "Oh, I've been lied to this whole time by MTV." <laughs> <laughs> and we like we like to think this is your very first podcast. Absolutely, it's my first one. I mean, your debut. <laughs> your debut. I've never podcasted a day in my life. Thank goodness, because I would I would kill myself if you had. Obviously, <laughs> and I mean that. I already bought the rope. But how are dark. you actually? I want to get into. I feel like I feel like there's some darkness in your life, and I just want to get into it. Like any trauma from childhood or Not anything. The darkness from in my life. I mean, we all have a little bit of childhood trauma. I don't think that you can be funny without some trauma. That is That's true. Very I true. genuinely think that people that are really, really pretty and like didn't have to go through a lot of stuff that are boring now. I'm like, oh, you never dealt with trauma. It's mm-hmm. Alyssa. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm so not pretty. I. You're very pretty. <laughs> oh. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> Don't ever Dude, say that you again. Ju- you just made her entire like <laughs> life. Say that again. But not pretty um, enough to go to conversion camp and then be attracted to her, right? 
No, no, no. Oh, not, okay. Not, not so not that nothing, pretty. Nothing, nothing will ever turn me like that. I'm so sorry. No, no it's woman okay. will turn me. I've already You're tried. I've already tried. You've already tried. I've already Who'd you tried. I already went to the conversion for six months. You did I, actually. I did. I really did. Oh. So when you said that, I was like, "How do you know that?" You do that? <laughs> I did no research, so this is new to me. <laughs> you, no, I did. No. I did well, it was like therapy. It wasn't like a camp or anything. It was just like I was at going to see a therapist for six months. That was like How trying to get you? me anti-gay. Seventeen. Wow. And was this of your own doing or was this like a, a nudge from family and friends? It was like kind of a nudge, but it was also my doing. It was kind of a combination of both. I grew up like super religious, super, pe super people pleaser. I grew up Mormon. So I was very like wanting to be like that perfect kid. So yeah. when my parents found out I was gay and I was like coming to realize I was gay, I was like, okay, what can we do to like stop it from happening? You know, cause I didn't know <laughs> yeah. any better. I didn't, I really had no idea with my upbringing. So I went for like six months and then the therapist was very much like, okay, so your anxiety is why you're gay. Like if we just got stopped getting oh, you anxious. Interesting. Jared, you must be really gay then. <laughs> like a raging homo. Just re flaming. You can say whatever you want. I can't yeah, yeah, say that. Um, no one else can, but I can say that. <laughs> That's the, you know, the N word of June. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Right? Oh God. I mean, kind of, I feel like getting kind of <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I went for six months and it was like such a journey. Like um, I became super depressed afterwards. And I remember like six months in, my parents were like, they sat me down like, why are you like depressed and like moping and like just weird. They're, like, ruining not their like day. they're Yeah, no, literally they're like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. You're not the same. And I'm like, Oh, I think it's the therapy. Like, I'm like, it's not working. Like, I just feel depressed all the time because it's how are you going to, like, how is someone going to tell me like that my anxiety is tied to being homosexual? It just yeah. doesn't make sense. So they were like, okay, stop going. So they were very like, you know, they just want me to be me. And they were like, really, really like just incredible. They were incredible parents in that moment. Cause they were like, they didn't know any better either. They grew up, you know, Mormon religious. They had no idea like yeah. what being gay was. They thought it was a choice. It's not. <laughs> no, and I've tried. I know, and, I, and I've tried for so long. It's so crazy. Yeah, I prayed the gay way for so long and never stuck. Maybe you have the wrong number. Mm -hmm. You should talk to my God. Yeah. <laughs> he can fix it. <laughs> Is uh, that why you're how you are now? Did yeah, yeah, yeah. I prayed mine away. One prayer. It. it was well, really was half it. a that prayer. Was it. Yeah, midway through the prayer, I felt like just the gayness leave my body. I was like, Oh, thanks, big man. Wow, that was really sweet. Yeah, but you know, maybe I could have a successful um, cosmetic company if I didn't do that prayer and be. That's true. And look at you now, you're s literally snatched. Rich, yeah, I am snatched. And this is just for you, okay? I've never <laughs> been snatched a day in my life. Really? No. This is your first snatching? This is my first snatching. You guys yeah. are both snatched. I live for it. And Thank you're welcome. You. I'm actually very obsessed. Like, okay, if you, if you didn't have to lie, <laughs> what, what would you honestly give one out of 10 just our makeup personas? Well, at first I didn't even, like, when you walked in, I was like, is that blush that he's wearing? I was like, oh, he's fully painted. I would say, do you feel different at all? Does the, the, the makeup, is it bringing out anything in you? Um, do you feel anxiety. a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> depression. Well, no, <laughs> depression. <laughs> well, no, uh, I was nervous because like, this is my first time with makeup on mm -hmm. too. I, I had never, the last time I had something painted on my face, it like, I had an allergic reaction to it and it started burning. Granted, that was like, shitty face paint at like an amusement park totally but i just i was like oh fuck this is gonna like fuck me up in some way you know but, i just, I just want to because we're gonna drive somewhere after this and you know automobile mm -hmm. accidents are the leading cause of death in america so i want to sure. take off this makeup before i get in the automobile in case i die so i can get into heaven <laughs> i think that's yeah. a good idea for you and because i if am you if you crash like that you're going straight to h-e-l-l -L -L -L. what no I'll, I'll put in a good word for you too <laughs> thank you I, like, I would like that do you have um can you code switch to being like straight for for and r the the minute before i die yeah <laughs> okay, okay. With, my dying, with my <laughs> okay. dying breath <laughs> jared jared <laughs> jared you're um omnipotent Okay. I don't know if that's the word, but oh, okay. yeah, okay. we're not going to define which God it is, but you're up there and right. I, we die at the same time. I, I come in looking like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Looking like that. Interesting. Okay. I want, well, Jared, this is okay. It's more of my soul. Oh, um, gotcha. Mm. I'm in my natural body, completely naked. And then you're there with me and you're kind of like my plus one. Yes. So we walk up to the golden gates. I'm fully clothed, but he's naked for sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But it's cause he took him off in the, in the ride up, but it's fine. <laughs> the elevator. I had no choice. <laughs> hey, Hey, uh, What's up, fam? How you how you doing, Big G? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Straight as ever. You know me. Okay. Love vagina. You know me. Uh huh. You know who loves vagina even more than me? My boy. I'm no, over here like. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I love pussy. The way, <laughs> like, the way that you raise your hand, I wanted to have a moment. I just wanted to be like, 
come over here. Why the hell would <laughs> fucking raise your head like that? He goes, he goes like this. He goes, I love vagina. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> and then if God sends me to hell, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> It's See, my fault. It was my fault. At it's first, fault. I was nervous for you because I was like, oh, this dude's trying too hard to sound straight, you know? Mm. That's what I would have expected. Yeah. But but the only good thing about hell is one day Elton John's going to be there and imagine just the, the concerts. Oh, the, oh I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just the, yeah, the de- concert. You're the, so right. The <laughs> debut <laughs> concert. <laughs> Bohem- yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody is going to be down there. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. As you should be. No, I'm going to heaven. I already know it. Oh, yeah? you already Yeah, I already it. felt it. I already feel it. I'm like, oh, in my soul, I'm going to heaven. Ah. So a little bit of that so therapy stuff. I stock. won't be seeing, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of that therapy is just like a thorn. Just a little thorn that just twists every so now and then. Um, watch this, Jared. Okay. Get ready for an interview question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd Let's you get it. your start? Wow. <laughs> this is one an actual interviewer. Um, so starting in social media, mm-hmm. beauty world. So I actually started doing drag first. Okay. okay. Drag a few times, but it wasn't even really drag because drag, like- What kind of card you have? <laughs> A Honda Civic. You drag a race in a Honda Civic? Um, mm-hmm. No, okay. those the, those are popular because you can easily tune them up. Oh, my yeah. bad. You're okay. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for, before that was a Jeep Cherokee. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that yeah, was, yeah. It was really, you know, we were really living That was life. definitely why you're going to conversion camp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. why my Jeep Cherokee? I was sucking too much dick back there. So I was like, I have to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you love the logs. I mean, I, and that thing is know. built for the woods. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's keep going. So you were actually in drag. Similar to a RuPaul. Of exactly. Some- but I was more so cross-dressing. Now looking back, I'm like, I'm literally cross-dressing. I'm not really like performing. I'm not doing anything. I just went out in like dresses and a wig and makeup thinking that I was like so passable. And so like no one would ever know I'm a guy. Like very <laughs> that, even though I'm like built like a linebacker. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it was it was definitely a journey, but I didn't really like actually all the other stuff. I was like, I don't really like wearing dresses or heels or anything. I liked the makeup aspect. So I started getting into makeup that way. So I was enjoying it. That was really fun. So then I started working at Sephora. Okay. So I was like, okay, this is just going to be like my little, little gateway yeah. into the beauty scene. But it was a Sephora inside like JCPenney because my parents didn't know mm. I was into makeup because oh. they were like, it was very like, don't ask, don't tell. Gotcha. So I would glam in my room, jump out my window. No, what? You snuck out of your yes, house to go to your job? To go, mm-hmm. snuck That's out. a dedicated worker. I would jump out my window, fully painted, go work. Come back before I went to the house, wipe off all my makeup in the car, and then be like, okay, I just worked at shoes today. And you said it like that. Uh-huh, just like that. I was <laughs> just like, like, you guys, that. I just so look at these I, fucking I, I like shoes. to think I like to think your parents are like, yeah. Sure you did. Sure you did, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> so like, yeah, they didn't really actually know I worked at the Sephora. Oh like wow. JC Penny. So I worked since I was getting the check from JC Penny constantly. So where are you from? It was like San Diego. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Chula Vista, the deepest part of San Diego. Well, you love it deep, so it makes sense. I Eons. It's like throwing <laughs> Eons a hot dog deep. down a hallway. Just wow. um, so yes, yeah, so it was it was it was fun like working there. Then I started working at Mac because I was like I just wanted to kind of progress yeah. my yeah. makeup game. And the iPhone and then just that's came when out. I started. So like, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it was really honestly I had a great time. And then I started creating my Instagram account. Then so I was like, okay, this is the the makeup I'm wearing to work. No, not a lot of guys were doing it at the time. And what year is this? This is like. 10 years ago plus. Oh my God. Were you, 2013, 2014. Were you, wow. were you kind of, I don't, I don't know if rebellious is the right word, but it's like, I don't care what people think even back then. It's just like, yes. I'm going to post this regardless. Yes. Okay. Cause I didn't see a lot of, uh, for me, it was about my artistry. So like, that's why I loved yeah. about makeup so much. Cause I didn't really have artistic outlets growing up. Mm-hmm. I was like the kid that like played sports and I was good at school. I didn't do anything with art. This, when I found this, I was like, oh, this is like a fun way of expressing that. So I used it as like an artistic outlet for myself. Hell yeah. So I started it, started taking photos of the makeup I was wearing. People were like, oh, how did you do that? Yeah. And I was like, I don't really know how to explain it on a <laughs> photo. And they're like, you should start a YouTube channel oh, to explain like what I was doing. And I was like, okay, I'll, like, I'll, I'll try it. So I bought like these diva ring lights from Amazon for like a hundred dollars. Okay. And I used my waiter money at the time. This is, I was like waiting at the same time too. All right. And what restaurant? It's closed now. It's called, it's called the Range in, oh, Hill, in range. Hillcrest of San Diego, which is like the gay area of San Diego. That sounds oh, fancy. like the WeHo of San Diego. Okay. Yeah. So I bought that, and then I took my mom's camera from like her room, and then I borrowed her pigments, and I was just showing people how to do what I would do at work. Was there anyone that you were watching at the time that was also doing this? Yes, but they weren't boys. They were all like oh, girls. gotcha, gotcha. And so gotcha. I was just seeing a lot of like females doing um, essentially like what I was doing because like it was like you know lead 
and still is by females. And so it was really fun watching. I just never saw someone like doing it like how I was doing it because I had a beard. Oh, okay. and so I was like, oh, okay, well, like, I wonder how, how I can make it work and tune it to myself. Yeah, being someone that is a man and male presenting. I mean, you're a bear, right? No, <laughs> in honor, so, obviously, absolutely not. I, definitely more on the like. Actually, I don't know what I would be. Not an otter. Okay. Maybe an otter. Honestly, maybe an otter. I can, I can see that. I okay. Can see that. And then what? If you had the label. Mm, okay. If I had a label. I love labels. <laughs> I would say twink. Nice. <laughs> those are those are hot commodity. I'll have you know. <laughs> That's going to be your nickname from now definitely on. Definitely a twink. Don't twink shame me. First yeah, you're off. definitely a twink. And can twink? I would say I'm a twunk, actually. A twunk? No, I'm not a twunk. I'm a twunk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that a twink and a hunk? Combined, yeah. <laughs> don't don't come at me with the lingo. Am I too tall to be a twink? Probably. I'm just fucking around. You're not actually a twink. I don't know what you would be. You wouldn't be defined. Like it would just kind of be. Yes, like, I would. Oh, I want a label, just, man. I'm sorry. You're unlabelable. Wow. I wouldn't even know. And the same with you. Like I wouldn't. Can know. be a twink tree? Is that a new thing? I've never heard of that before. Like a tall twink. Yeah. I feel like we need a term for a tall ass twink. Twink tree. Uh, you're or just you're a tall twink. <sighs> Doesn't roll. Are you hairless? Do you have body hair? Um, I wouldn't say a ton. I mean, I've I've got enough to to let you know. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Because twinks tend to be like more like hairless, just like slightly. You're definitely an otter. Otters are more hairy. Okay. Tell them about your butt crack. My butt crack is fine. You said it was hairier than. Yeah, that's natural. Chewbacca. (laughs) It's not Chewbacca. (laughs) My butt crack is not given. Do you like a forest? Isn't it? (laughs) Do you like a clean shaven man, or are you going in there with a pickaxe and just getting Um, after? I I like a. I would just say well groomed. Okay. Need to be clean shaven, but just like groomed. Okay. Is that okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. I keep myself pretty well groomed. (laughs) I'm not like super. No, yeah, I'm not super hairy. Like I can't really grow a beard, you know. Um, And then I have zero chest hair. Zero oh. butt hair. Yeah. You're not even hairy either. You're uh-uh. giving twink too. We're twinks together. We're you twin are, twinks. You guys are tall twinks. We're the twink towers. <laughs> we're twin twink towers. Yeah, yeah, you're twink towers. I love that for you guys, actually. I think that's really, really fun. And then why don't you bring that cockpit over here and we just... <laughs> We've been in a relationship for 18 years. And we haven't had sex once. You won't tell me why. Because I can't stand the bush. The what? The bush. Look at it, it's it's hideous. The bush has been with me my whole life. It's not easy to get rid of a bush, you know. Not with Manscaped. Is this a bush remover? The Lawn Mower 4.0. Manscaped's Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer makes it easier than ever to get rid of that pesky bush. It's waterproof, has ceramic, nick-free blades, and an LED guide light to make it the ultimate bush trimming tool. And when you're done trimming, they've even got ball toner and ball deodorant to make sure your gonads are ready when it's go time. So if I remove the bush, I can get a piece of your gush gush? If you get rid of the bush. Yippee! Come here, gushy gushy. Yeah, out of here, bush! Yeah, out of here, bush! Hey, bush, get you. Hey, bush, get out of here. Get out of here, bush. Wow! It looks bigger now, too! Wow! It does. All my girth and length was just hiding behind the bush. Thank you, Lawnmower 4.0 and Manscaped. Um, you can go to manscaped.com and use offer code THE DROPOUTS, that's T H E DROPOUTS, to get 20% off your purchase. And I suggest the Lawnmower, though they do have a lot of more grooming products, you know what I mean? <laughs> get rid of the bush with Manscaped. Let's keep talking about you, Han. This is about you, not us. Even though we try to steal the show with this whole makeup thing, and this is appropriation. Just so you know, we're canceled. It doesn't oh, matter. Know. We're with the king of cancel. I literally said that. Before. We'll get there though, won't we? <laughs> before, will we? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what you're even. I swear in my life, I heard you say you're canceled once, like in the David thing. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what it's for, so we don't have to bring it up. Um, but okay, so what year was this? This is twenty. So I started everything in twenty fourteen. Started okay, Instagram okay. in 2013, YouTube 2014. How old were you at the time? 22, 23-ish time. Okay, so you're doing mm-hmm. you're doing that. Going and then to school. When, going to school in college? Mm-hmm. Or okay. And then college, what were you studying? Health science. So I have my degree in health science and public health. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Did you want to do something with I, that? I before? did. I wanted to be in like the med field. I really wanted to be oh, like a wow. plastic surgeon specifically. Okay. I was always like wanting to go into that route. I was like, I really want to be a plastic surgeon. I want to like help people feel confident in them, their own skin, you know? Yeah. So then 
when I kind of realized that makeup was a mini form of plastic surgery in a way. Yeah. And it was helping people feel confident in their own way. I was like, oh, the, I can do this and not have to go be there through. for eight goddamn yeah. years. Have you, have, any, have you, do you have any plastic surgery? I do. Oh, what did you get done? So many things. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. I have veneers. You have a good- I have a couple of veneers. A couple? Yeah, How many? Six. I have six of them. Okay. I got uh, my hairline done. Wait, like I the t- forehead reduction? Not forehead reduction, but like like filled in like on the front. Okay, and what is the follicles? process of that? I'll need the name Hell of your doctor. On earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's so basically what it is, you get like shots on the back of your head. They shave this little like ear to ear. They shave it. They cut it out. Like they hole punch it, cut off all your follicles, and then you put it in to the front. That sounds Do you painful. have a good... Uh, do you have a promo code for? I wish I did because <laughs> it was goddamn expensive. Oh, was it? How much was it? It was like twenty grand. Oh fuck! But you look beautiful. Thank I got you. Some so saving up it. to do. Yeah, no, it's definitely like a saver. <laughs> I got a BBL like eight years ago. No way. Is it still there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does it go away? I mean, I guess it can, but mine has not. Wow. My, it's just like now. I feel like I feel like it looks more like natural, but I definitely have. I heard that cheeks. was like the scare or not the like most intense yeah. intense surgeries. <laughs> And like the most risk. Yeah, which I didn't know eight years ago when I got it. Like I felt like I was fucking patient zero when it comes to influencing the videos. <laughs> so now that everyone's like talks about it, like this is so scary and crazy. I'm like, God damn. I, I should have known all this stuff. I could have died. Years ago, I could have died. What's the process? So you're just- Lipo on okay. your stomach, flanks and back. And then you get some of the fat in your cheeks. So it's like, you're, it's like all your own fat. It's like all like quote unquote natural, but- mm-hmm. Jared, what, what's some, he wants to do a- uh, what is it? Ayahuasca. You want to, you, <laughs> hell, that'd be a very different podcast. Wait. We're all just on ayahuasca. You can't breathe. You need a. Oh, I know the the the, the septum. The se- uh fuck is rhinoplasty. I think a septum. A septum. Deviated septum thing. Deviated oh, septum. Okay. Yeah. Did you yeah, get yeah, any septum. of that done? No. You got a guy? Mm-mm. What the hell? Never mind, man. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't have anyone, but I can. I, I can always. Look, I'm in a very aesthetic field, if you will. Okay, gotcha. I always get things here and there, nips and tucks. You know? <laughs> okay, well, let's let's. Okay, so you're posting. You're in mm-hmm, school. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When was like the first? When did it start taking pickup of success? For me, it was kind what of a like, term, Alyssa. <laughs> anyway, keep going. <laughs> no, it was. It started getting pretty intense because I was one of the first boys to do it at the time, and a lot of it got a lot of attention because it would just seem so strange mm-hmm. at the time. And there was a lot of comments, especially from people from like different parts of the country, different parts of the world that were like, this is crazy. You're going to hell. All the, all my comments True. were literally like horrific, which <laughs> I'm like, absolutely. I can understand. Um, so it started getting big because of that. So I started just kind of growing from the almost like uniqueness of what I was doing since there was not a lot of boys doing what I was doing at the time. And so I just grew like really, really fast in the beginning. And once I started, once I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube is when I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave my job at Mac. Uh-huh. I'm gonna do this full time. I was, I was able to make enough money monthly to offset the Was Mac. most of the money at that point coming from AdSense? AdSense. And AdSense was really good at the time, right? I mean, 10 years ago, AdSense wasn't like the best thing ever, but it definitely was enough to be able to, yeah. like, I would survive. Yeah. Um, And I was living at home still, so I wasn't like too shook on my bills or anything like that. And then I was doing affiliations and- just different little things here and there. I was like, use code Manny MUA if you want to save some coin. At, at what point in your life um, of like doing this journey, did you, I, I don't know if it was like an aha moment, but you know, you go out to dinner or you pay rent and you just don't have to think about it. Do you mm-hmm. remember that kind of point and how oh relieving gosh. that was? Yeah, like when I was, when I finally moved out and I moved to Hollywood yeah. from my parents' place in San Diego, I remember being there and I had been there for a few months And I was just kind of in the routine of being in Hollywood. I was going to events all the time. And I was kind of, you know, you kind of fall into it a little bit in the beginning. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm going to be like this influencer. I'm going to do all this like fucking bullshit. Like (laughs) be perceived like the way I want to be. So when I was doing that, when I was realizing I was going out, I was doing all these things and people were recognizing me all the time and I would get clocked everywhere I go. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like, I can't believe this is my life. Even before I stopped at Mac, there was one shift I got recognized like 10 times from just from like my... Instagram at the time, which had like 30,000 followers. Damn. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? Like this is something I didn't ex- really expect, but I think that when a, like an opportunity presents itself, kind of have to like take it, yeah. you know? So you're going, you're going wrong. You're chugging along. Oh, this thing's working out. Um, at, at this point, did you have a plan for your career or like, oh, I, I want to be the staple in the makeup industry or staple in the entertainment industry? Like, what were you striving for at the time? Were you kind of just like, this is working, so let's just keep rolling the log down the hill? 
I feel like for me, it was kind of like, this is working. I'm going to keep rolling down the log because I didn't really have a plan. Yeah. Uh, even sometimes now I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to fucking do in the rest of my life. Like, no, if I you had a manager, like, they wouldn't let you on this podcast. So it's like, you, <laughs> you know, I didn't even tell her I was coming on. Yeah. It's, I that's been like, the smart, well, not the smart decision, mm-hmm. but I was like, I'm not even going to say that I'm coming over here <laughs> because I knew what they were going to say. They're going to be like, absolutely not. Yeah, it's just never in a million these, years. Not with these heteros. <laughs> no, we prefer um, bigots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yeah. I'm sure you do. Um, so yeah, so I was kind of like just trekking along and um, for me, it was more so about like trying to constantly get attention for like my community. And I think that in the beginning in the beauty space, a lot of brands didn't want to work with me. A lot of brands were just like, this is a joke. Like it's a fad. Like Guys and beauty, it's not a thing. Like mm-hmm. girls are the only ones that wear makeup and they're the only ones that would ever buy makeup. Yeah. And I was like, I'm literally like I think that's living one of the, proof. Living proof. <laughs> that's not the case. I think yeah. that's the 11th commandment actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girls yeah, can yeah. only I, buy I, makeup. Actually, I think you actually wrote that in yourself. Um, I mean, amend, I was the amendment. editor. So <laughs> I, meant, uh, I threw it in. <laughs> okay. So you amended the amendment. You're, yeah. you're going in. Okay. So you're, you're rolling, you're rolling. And then obviously the snowball effect takes place what was kind of like the next big step in so i actually ended up becoming the first like male ambassador for maybelline which is like a big insane drugstore brand yeah you know it's like kind of worldwide brand and so they asked me to be their first like male model wow and that was something that like was like a really big thing for my career at the time especially where they were like what year was this holy shit this is like 2016 maybe so it was like holy shit i cannot believe i'm like the male ambassador and it was like there to this day i think they said that it was like their biggest press hit they've ever had damn whereas like oh my god like the first male yeah model for i mean that's like, a huge step in that industry a, it was huge it was like me for maybe and like james charles for cover girl it was yeah. kind of like that like thing so it was like us two kind of in that space in such a huge way you know and i was like yeah. their first like male model in a commercial i did a commercial with them it was for their mascara so it was like a huge moment that I was like, holy fuck, like I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. And you don't think that when you're doing stuff, you're kind of like just trekking, like you're saying, pushing the log. But when something like that happens and it like gets this like worldwide press, you're kind of like, oh shit, like I'm doing something. Yeah. Like I'm actually like helping or changing or like people are taking me more serious and taking men serious in this space and things like that. Did they have, did they change their slogan or at least add a new one to like, maybe he's born with it? Maybe well, it's no, Maybelline. No, it just, I think it's literally just like, maybe it's Maybelline. Like that was oh, like their slogan. So regardless, okay. maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. But yeah. I think it literally became, maybe it's Maybelline. So they just cut off the front I, Yeah, part. I think so. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, you changed. I could be completely wrong, but they did. <laughs> no, I, again, we're not going to do any research follow-up. We're not follow going to do any fact check. <laughs> we're no, not fact check. Whatever's on here is not. true. <laughs> okay, you're Everything rolling. Said, and so then, rolling, that was cool. Crazy. How much did you get paid for that? Down to the penny? Um, it, not, it doesn't really matter. Actually, I don't think. Oh, it matters a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I, I want to know. <laughs> no, I actually honestly cannot even remember. I was oh. paid handsomely. <laughs> I was paid well for like what it was at Hell the yeah. time because I had to like go do the photo shoot or the video shoot in New York, and it was literally fucking colder than a witch's titty in a brass bra. Like that's like what's came to my mind. Um, <laughs> it was just so, so freezing. And they were like, oh, you have to pretend like it's a summer night and you're going through this thing. And I'm like, I literally <laughs> cannot feel my fucking face. <laughs> and my, like, I'm not well, like internally, like I'm not. And then like, I remember we'd have to be bundled between takes that they're like, okay, everyone throw blankets on them now. Cause it was me and another model. And it was a couple of us. And we're like, <laughs> freaking out, freaking out. like at the second that the like, camera's around, they're like, Hey guys, so we're gonna go party. It would be like this, like faux thing, but it's like literally twenty degrees outside in New York, and you know that kind of cold is like that wet cold that's oh, hits yeah. you to the bones, bone chilling cold. So it was it was crazy, but I'm glad that we ended up like pulling it off. Yeah, I'm scared. I mean, for millions of dollars, I probably would have been fine. It wasn't that. millions of dollars. What? It was like thousands that, of dollars. Speaking of being healthily and beautifully rich, Jared, it's time for us to make some money. Subscribe to the Patreon right now, or I'll nice. break. I'll break your mother's nose. <laughs> and this is going to be an exclusive Patreon question that uh, nobody else is going to hear unless mm. you subscribe, and you're going to be a part of it. How'd you lose your virginity, huh? <laughs> How'd you get that cock wet, huh? <laughs> Oh, oh, Jerry! Oh, what the hell? Take me! What is going on? Let me feel you Dad, inside me, please. What are you doing? What? Why are you on top of me? Would you say that our sex life is getting stale, Jared? We never had a sex life to begin with. But if we did, it'd probably be pretty stale, right? Yeah, you you seem kind of boring. Well, I have a way. I think we can spice it up. You want to hear about it? I do. Do you mind if I go sit right where I was? I would love that. Or should we make out? No. Ah. Oh, Jim. All right. 
What's up, guys? This part of the podcast is sponsored by Adam and Eve. You know when you want to spice it up in the bedroom and uh, you need uh, you know some fun toys, tools, gadgets, games, gizmos, gizmos, lingerie to spice it up for the boy or girl in your life, or uh, anything that makes you feel sexy and makes the bedroom a lot more pleasurable. You can go to adamandeve.com. That's what Jared and I are using, huh? That's what we're using to get after you and I, huh? Pretty cool thing right now is adamandeve.com. If you use code dropouts, you get 50% off one item. Uh, fantastic. Plus free shipping in US and Canada. Plus free rush processing. Some exclusions apply. But what I need to tell you about is they have 24-7 customer service. 90-day no hassle returns. Fantastic. Discreet packaging. So, That's you know, probably the most important one. Right discreet there. packaging. Because if you live with your mom and uh, you're oh. trying to... Get busy. Or, or if you live with roommates, you don't want them no, 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 all no. your business. No, you, know? you don't want to know your business. You don't want to, maybe you got a sneaky link and you want to sneaky link some handcuffs together. You don't, you, sometimes you don't want that out in the public. That's for your private. Exactly. That's why this discreet packaging, no one will ever know what's inside the box except for you and uh, your honey boo boo. You know what I mean? Ooh. Ooh. And they've been in business for over 50 years. So that's how you know you have, they have good products that last but are also trusted. fun. Very fun. I say me and you go pick out a matching set of uh Yeah. Don't do it. Oh First well, of all, I can't play into the bit. Now. I like hard to get, okay? Oh, sorry. Go to adamandeve.com right now and use code dropouts to spice up your life. Get that 50% off, baby. That's like one of the best deals I've ever heard. No, that's fantastic. 50% off plus free shipping plus free rush processing. I could feel the blood rushing somewhere right now. Oh, can you? Sorry, hard to get. <laughs> Trust me. Um, never mind. I shouldn't say that. All right. Back to the show. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. And guess what? I got to say something. If you don't have a website now, you're not doing life well. Right, Jared? Right. We have a website. You want to know what we sell on there? Anything we absolutely want to because Squarespace gives us the platform to do that with super easy e-commerce tools and email capture. So say you got a sale going on, we can email them back. Anything you want to do online with a website, man, you can do with squarespace.com. I don't think you're getting it. I'm getting it. Yeah? Yeah. Say you're a photographer. Oh, I need a portfolio. I need a, a place for people to go to see my work, uh, a website. Um, say you want to sell uh, dog necklaces, also known as collars, <laughs> customized, use Squarespace. People like to think, oh, what could I, uh, I don't know what I would do with Squarespace. Literally, absolutely anything in the entire world. Blogs. You could do blogs with Squarespace. Your ex had one, and she used Very to talk about you on it. The blogs on Squarespace. Maybe you should create a counter blog so you guys can kind of go at it until Ooh, that's kind of fun. Exactly. Like battle of the blogs. Battle of the blogs. Sponsored by Squarespace. Sponsored by Squarespace. Anyway, uh, Jared's going to get you into the technicalities and how you can save money on this wonderful service. Jared, let him know about it. So if you want to get your life together and get you a website, go to squarespace.com slash dropouts for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code dropouts to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he meant to say back to the show. That's what I meant to say. And back My to the turn. wholesome show. <laughs> Whoa, okay, guys. Um, back from the Patreon. Yeah, that, back. That made Ooh. me, that was a lot. That made you horny. Uh, actually, <laughs> I think like it's low, that, well, that's why he's crossing. His that, I was like, right why now. else would you be crossed? No, it's in my stomach right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's up your belt. What's a reverse boner? Because I got it. Okay, so we're moving. We're, we're moving. Okay, what so size shoes do you wear? Eleven. You know what that means? What does that mean? Come on. Okay, like a juicy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. like a juicy. Yeah. Dense, yeah, yeah. very dense. Oh, are you? Uh, you're more of a wide than a long guy. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, like a, like a combo of both. Best of both worlds. Best over of both here. worlds. Hannah Montana. Never heard of her. Um, okay, so your name or your like the face of Maybelline, Maybelline. Yes. right? Mm -hmm. Now, what did your parents or family think at that point? Because like that's huge beyond just like oh, I have a bunch of like subscribers on YouTube. That's like you know you've surpassed the level of like social media. You know totally. that's traditional. Mm -hmm. What they think? They were like. They were shocked. They yeah. Had no, like they, I mean, they kind of idea what I was doing at this time because they had discovered my Manny Mui page. At you never point, told them? Never told them. I had them all blocked. <laughs> I had them all blocked and I blocked all the people that were at my church. How'd they discover it? Someone um, was like, is this your son? Uh, and it was me fully snitched? glam. Someone snitched on me. Fully glam. And they were like, <laughs> were they accepting? What the fuck? No, they were literally like, you're going to delete your account. Oh, Because like, you're not doing this. How many followers did you have at the time? Like 50,000 followers, which at the time was like a lot. No, that's though. a lot. I was like, yeah. I'm not deleting this. Like I built this. Like I'm so proud of it. And and they're like, you're going to delete it. I was like, no, I'm not deleting it. 
But when you're in your like, I'm, I grew up Latino, so your parents are very much not like, anymore, though. no, not anymore. <laughs> um, I grew up Latino though. And they're very like strict. Like you live in a Latina household. It's like, you're going to be under our roof. It's our rules till you leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter how old you are. So it was, I was still like 22 years old. And it don't matter. It's like, as if I'm literally 15. Wow. So um, I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not deleting it. I'm not doing it. Um, I remember I had like a full blown panic attack. Cause they're like, you're going to delete it. Like delete it right now. And I was like, no, had a panic attack, fully fainted. Oh shit. Literally like lost okay. it. They were like, oh my God, they're freaked out. And <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to delete it. And I was freaking out. Um, Cause I had worked so hard yeah. you know, on, on it. And so it became all, again, like a kind of a don't ask, don't tell. Like we wouldn't really talk about it. Mm. Cause I was still doing the things I had to do. I was still in yeah, school. Still sinning. Oh <laughs> I was, yeah. You know, I had just got a tongue piercing. Definitely a sin. Very, oh. very sinny. And then was that, that was for the man's pleasure, I assume? Yeah. Okay. Good just to like, just to rebel in a way. Yeah. I wanted to rebel. You. So you got the thing, you got the, okay. And then how did you convince them to still I just, love you? So I, well, luckily they loved me the entire time. Something you might not mm, know about. Definitely no doesn't know about doesn't that. know about that. Hey, I'm working on it with my parents. <laughs> my dad's coming in town. Oh, yeah. We, we don't hang out too much. So it's going to be a big deal. He's coming for our live show. I assume you'll be there this Sunday. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's, let's live show of this podcast. Yeah. yeah. Who'd have thought? You guys, that's so exciting. Oh my God. I it, love that for you guys. It's, it's been over for two weeks. Once this comes out. Work. Yeah, it's, well, I'm excited it for you guys. Eh, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> over to you. Uh, how'd you get him to love you? So, uh, or uh, <laughs> accept so, you? Again, so like, did, didn't talk about it. I was doing my thing, but I was just kind of doing the Instagram, everything on the side. Um, and so what, for me, I think what it took was when I would get messages from people. So at the time, um, you know, they were just saying like, you know, like seeing you do what you're doing is like inspiring for me to like want to yeah. be myself and want to do these things. So I would get parents, their kids, like everyone, like every walk of life, they would literally just be like, yo, like what you're doing is helping me want to be myself. And so I would show my parents, I'm like, oh, look, like I've helped in some way. And they'd be like, oh, that's really cool. And then we just kind of like move on from it. Okay. And so I think constantly showing them these things and like people would message me like, you know, I'm going through chemo right now, but your your videos and your posts like help They cured me. their cancer? <laughs> oh, they still had chemo. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so you were just a distraction. Were, I, was, I was a distraction. I was helping. So in their finite mm -hmm. amount of life that they had left, you took up precious time they could have had with their family by posting videos. Well, they're videos. still alive. <laughs> yeah, they're still alive. How, That's why they messaged uh, me. Like, I, you got me through chemo. They went through chemo. Oh. Yeah, because you need a lot of moral support when you're yes. going through something like that. And that can come in the shape of anything. Have you ever been a Make-A-Wish? I have not. Have you? Adds up, of course. Um, he, no, he hasn't. <laughs> I was like, no, he hasn't. Never. <laughs> and when anyway. I said, I was like, have you? I'm like, of course not. What am I doing? Whoa, <laughs> well, watch your mouth, Manny. Am you gay? <laughs> if some kid was like, I want to meet Zach Justice, they'd be like, how, how about John why Cena? Watch, why are you watching? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, what was the the um, the comedian that said John Cena is the angel of death? <laughs> <laughs> for Make-A-Wish kids? I feel Wait, like no. I've heard that. I don't know who said it, but I've heard that before. <laughs> oh, back to you. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, so it, was, it was constantly like kind of showing them um, and kind of letting them know like that I was doing well. Yeah. And I think that, you know, when, when you have your parents, like they expect this life for you, right? They want you to do well. They want you to succeed. They want you to do all these things. And so when you kind of did it from that plan, yeah. the overarching plan of like, okay, well, not only are you not straight, you're gay. It's going to be harder. Life's going to be tougher already. You're going to get, there's hate crimes happening, especially like 10 years ago. It was rampant. Mm -hmm. um, there's that. Not and bad. then I was like, instead of going to being, instead of being a doctor, like you want to be a makeup artist. Like that doesn't yeah. flow with like what they were thinking. So I think just kind of showing them like that I was passionate about something and continuously working on it and being successful with what I did. I was like, I'm going to be successful at this. Like I know I'm going to be. And so it just took like some time. And just but. making a change like in people's totally. lives, you mm -hmm. know, like that I feel helps a lot more than just like the money aspect or the success mm -hmm. aspect. So that's awesome. Yeah. So now, so now, and now they're like my literal biggest advocates and they work with me on, with my brand. Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And that Circle. brand is lunar right Beauty. down the, right down the barrel. <laughs> 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 you can pick, yeah. uh, you can pick, <clears throat> you can pick it up where? LunarBeauty.com. You don't have like a Sephora deal or something? Com. I did in the beginning. It was like, it was kind of like a full circle moment. I had like a, for a Well, for a how year. cool was that? Uh, be honest. Like you're it like. It was insane. Yeah. Cause it, went, it was literally six years. It was like, I started working in Sephora. Six years later, I have a brand in Sephora. It was crazy. Holy shit. I was that like, I can't believe I accomplished this. No, I was like, I can't believe I accomplished this in six years. Yeah, that's So I did it for a year fast. just to like, honestly, say that I did. Yeah. You know, it, it was very tough. It's so hard. Like when you're an indie brand, I'm self-funded indie brand. So it's not when you're small like that, it's hard to be in a big store like yeah. that. 
I'm like, yo, we don't have the capacity of the bandwidth to do what you guys need of us. Mm-hmm. So it ended up like by the end of the year, I was like, I think we're gonna just have to. Do you think like, that was a smarter decision? I do. Yeah. Because it was just really tough. Like I could we unless we had a bigger team or like investors or people that were able to do all these things, we were made like I was making my brand to be an indie brand that was e com. You know, okay, like yeah. specifically. Gotcha. So when they're like, okay, cool, let's get you guys in store. I was like, how? Like, this <laughs> yeah. is crazy. I was like, the scaling, everything. So I was like, no, I don't feel like this is like the right fit. So after a year, we pulled out, but just being able to be <laughs> it in. It must have been hard for you. Yeah, it was a big, <laughs> I, was, I had a hard on for it. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, you just never pulled, <laughs> pulled out before. Out. Um, okay, how'd you come up with the name? Lunar Beauty? Yeah. Um, I've always been like a see, night owl. I see a moon tattoo right on your- uh, My finger? Yeah. And then here, my full moon. Okay, so you stay up late. Yeah, I was, I've always been like that. Like I was a huge fan of like Sailor Moon growing up. It was like my first anime I ever watched. It really like, I, I know it sounds kind of dorky, but like it really helped me like kind of come into my own in a way where I was like, I loved these like women who would transform from like their like average lives to being like this superhero at night. And I was like, oh my God, like I love that aspect of it. Cause I always felt that I was like, I felt I was the most creative in the live at nighttime. Yeah. So Lunar Beauty was just something that I always was really infatuated with and like the love of the moon space. So that's how Lunar Beauty came to be. Uh, this is the part that really fascinates me. So what's the day-to-day look like now as far as, or I don't know if you want to start back before, it's like how you built out the team and how it's expanded, maybe where it's at now. And Yeah, b- before we get into like the day-to-day, you worked with, like you collaborated with a lot of makeup companies, like before with like eyeshadows and palettes yes. and stuff like yes. that. What I was the Morphe at some point. Mm-hmm. What was the flip to being like, I'm gonna make my own brand? So that's what it was. That actually was what kind of really started my passion was okay. collaborating with other brands and other makeup brands that were like, okay, these this is like, you get a lot of choice in this. You can pick the eyeshadow color store. You can pick the colors of this. I can't really do a lot with, you know, necessarily, their components or their packaging, but I can do what I can do as a collaboration. So gotcha. once I had gotten like, I think like literally five collaborations under my belt, yeah. I was like, okay, I think it's time <laughs> to like, you know, like a Pokemon, you just gotta level up, evolve. Uh-huh. So I- Who was your starter Pokemon that you picked? Squirtle. Checks out, I was like, a Charmander guy. Oh, that makes sense. with Bulbasaur. I was not Bulbasaur. What were you? Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense because now you're wearing a red lip. Uh-huh. <laughs> queen, wow, queen. queen. <laughs> <laughs> queen queen um so yeah so i i was like okay i want to create my own thing i had like saved up so much money because of the collaborations i've done i was like okay, i'm putting money away for my own brand my own thing i want i didn't want people to like tell me like okay we can do this but we can't do that and i'm yeah, like yeah oh my god then what's the point of me collaborating like i'm <laughs> like i want to do so much more but they wouldn't let me so i was like okay well if i have all this experience on these collaborations why can't i use that experience and someone who's literally reviewed makeup now going 10 years, I'm gonna use all that knowledge I put into it, into my own line. So that's kind of why I, I just felt like it was the next step for me. That's awesome, yeah. Mm-hmm. And now you've built it to a company that's worth like how much? Down to I, a penny? <laughs> <laughs> Zach loves money know, questions. He loves, he and it makes it. everyone so uncomfortable. No, it's not even that uncomfortable. I'm just like, I'm just not answering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about me, Rude. I'm the type that's like, I'm not answering your question. <laughs> next. <laughs> you know, I'm very that. <laughs> Thank you, next. <laughs> yeah, it's very that. Very Ariana Grande. Okay, yeah. um, <laughs> don't worry. He had he had like six shots before this. He was nervous. It was the glam. You were scared of being glam. I'm glam fam. <laughs> Do you want to start a thing called glam fam? It's kind of all of us, me, you, Jared. Oh, like like a ten, like a ten people in a house situation, glam fam. I don't want to live with you, but we'll be glam fam. <laughs> we'll collaborate. You do, Do you still make YouTube videos? I do. Doubt it. I do <laughs> um, every week. Okay, okay. No, I want to I want to learn about this business operation. So. Mm-hmm. How many products do you have? Oh my gosh, I have a lot of SKUs. I What'd you start so off many. with? Like, I started off with an eyeshadow palette. Okay. And I called it Life's a Drag. Nice. And it was like kind of like my homage to doing drag. So like that's kind of what started my makeup journey. So I wanted to kind of do a throwback to Life's a Drag. Like it be- that's how my life is now is because drag started it. So that's kind of what was my first product. Not really on brand with what I do now, yeah. but it was my first product like yeah. four years ago. So um, now like the aesthetic has changed a lot and now it's gotten to a little bit more honed in, but your first product, you're kind of like, I'm just excited about it. I just want to launch it and just do my thing. Exactly. So um, I mean, we, we know a lot about our first product. Show, 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 show. Oh yeah. Well, this isn't our first product, but. You guys have merch. I'm proud we're, of you. We're doing sh- shameless self promo. <laughs> as you should be. It's your podcast. Did you buy one? You, you have so it. much money. I didn't even know you, you had could, merch. How much money could you Venmo me right now and it just wouldn't matter? Mm-hmm. Thousands I mean? of dollars. Should we? No. <laughs> Should we? <laughs> Should we? We shouldn't. Actually, I think it's a horrible idea. Why? Support your friends? 
<laughs> oh, I thought we weren't friends. We are we're if you acquaintances. give me money. <laughs> oh, suddenly. <laughs> it's a monetary See, he's exchange. fake as hell. Fake as bitch. And the glam's making even more fake. Not as fake as your hairline. Okay, let's keep going. Um, <laughs> it's, it's real. It's really mine. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like that. Give me money. I'll do more. <laughs> <laughs> of course you will. Yeah, so um, I started off with an eyeshadow palette. And then that was something that I felt like I was very confident in. Because like something I do all the time, eyeshadow. I then started creating lip products, um, brushes, things that I felt really like I knew what I was talking about. Blushes, bronzers, things like that. So kind of products that I use all the time. Sold well immediately? Absolutely. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's for me, like it's such a blessing to be able to have like a built-in marketing essentially with my own brand. Yeah, I'm very, very lucky, really blessed. For me, I just want to be able to make my money back to pour into the next project. Like yeah. I love creating and creating these concepts and this packaging. And that's something I'm really passionate about. So for me, I'm like, if I can just make my money back in the weekend, we sell it. And then everything on top of that is just like, we make money. Yeah, I'm thrilled. You, and that's usually what happens. Do you have, do you kind of oversee the whole operation? Did you hire like a CEO? No, I do everything. How many employees do you have? I would say like four. Four, okay. No, it's not huge. Like it's literally like me, my mom, and my dad, three of us, so five. Um, we have someone now that helps us facilitate with like our vendors. And then we have another person that helps us with like packaging. So things like that. So like five employees. That's pretty cool. That is pretty myself. cool got like myself. to have such a tight team like that. Yeah. And it's, I mean, we always say like, we're like small, but mighty, you know yeah. I mean? Like we've done amazing things, but like at the scale we've done it. No, I have six. Uh, including my <laughs> assistant. Including my assistant. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been really cool being able to see what we've been able to do at our small size. Mm -hmm. And even like for us to be in Sephora for a year it was crazy. Cause we had even let, like we had like three employees at the time. So, so you're going, you're going up and up. I mean, Manny MUA, he's all over the world. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah, Sephora, and, uh, Morphe. Oh, I've I got my. With Morphe. What, what is up with this fly? I don't know. We got a rogue fly. Uh, Lu you probably <laughs> brought it so in. Close. So close. <laughs> why? Why do you say me? Yeah. I was attracted to your smell. No, it was, it was attracted <laughs> to. It probably bust. lives in that gaping hole bust. you got. <laughs> anyway, um, and then it all. How did? Do you want to talk about it all come crashing down or? So in 2018. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I was, in fact, canceled. I genuinely don't know this, so well, I, mean, I don't it, either. I mean, it really was like really more so like a perfect storm of unfortunate events. Good, because um, like well, I got canceled, quote unquote, for being like a bad friend, for being okay. like a for being like a quote unquote social climber. That was like what my that adds up. How? <laughs> you get the vibe. How? I'm doing charity work right now. <laughs> This is community service. I'm doing community service. It would have been four years ago. <laughs> now you need it. Now, Let's keep talking. <laughs> so yeah, so I um yeah, 20, 2018, everything came fucking crashing down. Hell yeah. Lost hundreds of thousands of followers, lost brand deals. You lost. don't talk about this, obviously, if you don't want to. Um why? Well, there was like so there was a photo situation that happened, and so it was kind of like a couple friends of mine. We all took a photo together. One of my friends posted it, shading another creator at the time. It ended up blowing up, got to a huge like level that was just, like out of control, like a wildfire. Um, and then that's kind of how it happened. It just spiraled and spiraled and spiraled and spiraled. And you know, I ended up when everything was happening, I ended up leaving the internet for like two months. I was like, I need to go focus on myself. Like, I need to like the classic. take a step back. Yeah, no, literally. And I was like, I started going to therapy. Is it being um, canceled? You just get like. A nice little vacation. Pretty great, huh? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I would say that. I like lost so much weight. I was so depressed and anxious because like you, especially at the time. So in 2018, during like the, that cancellation, it was like the first like big beauty drama at the time. And it was so big and we, no one had had that before. So no one knew. I'm like, are we going to be able to make it back from this? Are we going to have careers after this? Like what's going to happen? Yeah. Um. And so it was very like scary. You know, I was like, damn, I worked for all these years to build this thing that I've built. And then for it to all come crashing down is what it felt like. It felt like the whole world was against me at the time. Um, so I was like, this is really, really scary. And so I wanted to kind of refocus and rehone in on what like I wanted in life. Cause you know, like for a while, um, as Manny MUA, I had focused so much on being Manny MUA. And I kind of like, was like whatever with Manny, like with who I really was as a person. Yeah. And I didn't really feed into that at all. I was just like, well, if I need to be like the best and I need to be, this top creator in the beauty space. And I needed to go, go, go. And just like chase that never ending cycle. Um, and so once I got canceled, it kind of literally like, I was like, okay, calm down. 
that's not what actually makes you happy. I was like, I did, I, I thought that likes and views and money is what really made me happy, but it really wasn't. Makes me happy. I know, and you think that until you get canceled and you're like, okay, this could all go away like this. Yeah. That's kind of why it's like, oh, so if all the likes, money and views go away, are you happy with who you are as a human being? Mm-hmm. That's kind of what like I was trying to recenter and be like, okay, if I'm not, then let's focus on being happy as me. So you're, you're kind of like faking being a good person so you can keep everything, like all the money and stuff. <laughs> no, not Is that not what all. you just said? No, not So you all. actually changed because you wanted to? <laughs> Oh, the I got wink, you. The I wink. Got you. No, no I, I, I was, I was a good person. Like, no, it's I not like I was a bad person, but I think that my priorities were just different and they were skewed. You just kind of got lost in the sauce. In, yeah, lost in the sauce. Especially in like Hollywood and stuff like that. Like, it's yeah. really easy to get lost into it. Did everybody become friends again? I'm friends with the vast majority of people that Hell were involved yeah. with it. Yeah, we all. We, How'd you get we, back we to good graces? Well, did I, you I come back with out. like? Did you come back? Or did you do an apology video? Sure did. Did you cry? I don't think so. Okay, that's probably a good no. move. If it's a fake Didn't tears, cry. you'll get double canceled. Was it a good apology video? I mean, no, because I think at the, at the end of the day, when you're in the fire and you're in the flames, no one really wants to hear anything. Mm. Yeah. And I've come to realize that as well. Like when you're in the midst of a fiery cancellation, yeah. you could say anything and it could be the most truest thing in the tr- in the world and no one really cares because they yeah. want to believe that their perception of you is true. They don't want to believe the truth. We bank our um, apology videos. We do one after every podcast. So it's like, <laughs> we say something here, it's bad. Boom, it's already up. You're like, oh, well, look, I- Oh, I, I yeah, we're good. And then we do another episode. Mm-hmm. So we're completely fine. No, I and get it, that. But you're like, when when you're in that, you're kind of fighting like a war on two fronts where mm-hmm. like, if you put out an apology video, like people shit on that they're like, that this wasn't sincere. It's not enough. It's not enough. Mm-hmm. And then if you don't, all of a sudden you're just like, why aren't you they are saying horrible. anything? Yeah. Exactly. So it really is like a lose-lose. And I think that when you're in something like that, you really have to just take a step back for yourself. Yeah. So, cause I think people see it. They can tell you're like, oh, you're in panic mode. You're freaking out. So you're just saying whatever the fuck you want to say to like not continuously being canceled. So, but yeah. when you take a step back, you're like, let me reevaluate. Like, and if you've done something wrong, own your shit, mm-hmm. apologize, and just move on. And yeah. I think that's what I've come to realize going through something how, how long did it take you from the worst human ever to not everybody hates you? Um, what are we in? 25 years? Oh, so you're good now? <laughs> Hell yeah. Five years maybe? I, I wish say. we were doing this back in the 2018. Right, <laughs> right, at, the, right at Just the, the decrepit. Well, good job. So everybody loves you now. How'd you do it? Manipulate? Lie, cheat, steal. Oh no, no. I, I think that methods, that's his. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to like emulate, but no, I think that at the time, um, for me, it was more so about like, I'm going to focus on myself and I'm going to like more so like internal change and not be so like this, like never ending rat race situation. And I think that when people see that you're happy with what you're doing as like a person, not just like with what your content is or whatever it might be, I think people kind of like, Oh, well I can see change. And rather than saying like, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to change when you actually change, people are like, oh shit. Yeah. It's, it's more than just when you do, don't saying tell. sorry about something. Yeah. yeah. Well, something I don't even know what happened, but I'm on your side. <laughs> well, thank you. I believe you. Um, uh, Alyssa loves you. Uh, she watched your videos or something. <laughs> thank <laughs> what, you. Did you buy a pallet ever? No. Okay, so she's Fake a I, well, God damn it, Alyssa. Wait <laughs> till okay. ruin hell. it all. And, and that's okay. And that's okay. Because support is support regardless. But also when it's I watched, okay. it what was- What PR person was... are you with? <laughs> I don't have PR they, right now. They have you media <laughs> trained. <No. laughs> I, I literally do not have PR right now. I swear. I just didn't have money. No, of course. That's I'm like, whenever people yeah, are like, your, I would love so to, they're not. Oh, then Alyssa. <laughs> they're, no, they're, they're recent. Like, they're, no, we just don't pay her enough. They're, no, <laughs> they're very like fairly priced for what it is, for sure. Like okay. I try to do the best that I can Good. with inflation and like, especially things getting more and more expensive. And Can we get our own uh, yeah, dropout, uh, dropouts code? Would you like a dropout code? How, how much percent? 10% off okay. for them. Dude, a straight guy selling makeup? Hell yeah, brother. Now we're crossing boundaries. Uh, now we're getting crazy. Use, use code. Dro- I want a dropout shirt at Dropout University. Well, you can't have one. I'm going to have to uh, get one. Dropout. Get You'll get one. Where do we Where do we find? Shopdropouts.com. Dude, he's trying to set it up to make himself look better because <laughs> this is manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like. Use code dropouts for 10% off on lunalovers.com. <laughs> what is it? Lunalovers. Luna That's lovers. it. How do you say it? Lunarbeauty.com. Okay, it'll be in the description. We're going to sell some <laughs> units. You. Okay, I would love to. Wait, can I be in a, a campaign? A, like a straight a guy? A tall twink? Well, no, I just feel like a... <laughs> could be the name of a palette. Like a, <laughs> like a straw... Like, not the, like, not gay 
people don't do makeup, but we're going stereotypical here. Like a straight, like white guy. Mm. How are you going to sell this? Huh. I'm so curious. I'm very palette. curious myself. <laughs> Palette. You want a straight white guy. I palette. love when you're cracking yourself. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> and you're giggling. I love when you like straight white guy himself. palette. That's what oh. you. That's your pitch. Oh, I would move units. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would. And that's what really scares me about this whole thing. <laughs> I want to do. Um, God, what would sell with who? Who would you do it with? You. Oh no. What? <laughs> He's like, I would never. <laughs> No, 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 no. This is a Luna. A Luna? See, you don't even know the brand's name. <laughs> it's <a> Lunar. <laughs> this is a Luna. <laughs> Have you done? Oh, I, I already know you've done a uh, uh, the Eclipse collection. Have you done that? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. It's called Eternal Eclipse. Oh, of the heart? Literally. <laughs> I'm I'm it was Every time I look at you, you look terrified. <laughs> Like I every first, single- you know what's funny to me? Like this is so normal in my world that I don't <laughs> think you guys look different at all. Well, no, I'm, I'm like, sad. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, no, I'm- you look like Ronald McDonald just like paid you to do. Dude, it. okay, it's not fair, right? Zach is like, I'm getting my makeup done first, and he's like, Oh, do a red lip on him. I want you I to be bold. See, I want to see how it looks before I do it, right? So of course she does it, and he goes. I don't want that. No, I want and he's like, he's like, yeah, I want, I want to go darker with my lips or whatever. And then she doesn't put shit on him. She does a no, little. No, this outline. is darker. She, she does. She overdrew my lips. She does a little outline barely. to give me a full look. <laughs> <laughs> it barely overdraw. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> yeah, because you, you want to. You know, after this, I'm gonna overdraw like for real on you. Don't worry, it'll be on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Really I love saying that. You. Um, cool. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I, mean, I don't know. I, I got the trail. I got, I got lost when you started pitching your straight white guy yeah, palette. Yeah, your straight white palette. You wouldn't do that? Don't think it's my journey. No. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll just have to hit up whoever you made fun of in that picture. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. Do, do they good. do makeup? Sure. I'm going to do it with them. Mm, period. Let's do some research after this. Also. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you went through this whole, like, firestorm, right? You've been mm-hmm. in the industry for... 10 years, going on 10 years. How do you not get burnt out or like just go insane with everything? I think it honestly is easy and I have definitely felt burnt out in the past. Yeah. Um, and there's moments I don't still now, I'll be like, dude, I feel so burnt out. I don't want to do this anymore. But I think that's like the importance of really feeding into what makes you happy as a person. And I think like when you reevaluate that, when you're doing things for yourself, that's not just for work, mm-hmm. you don't feel as burnt out. Because it's like, oh, I have other things going on. What do you do for yourself? Like working out, or hanging out with friends, okay. uh, hanging out with family, just kind of, kind of un- checking out of the social media world. I feel like when I'm too plugged in is when I feel the most burnt out. Yeah. So when I'm less plugged in, I'm kind of like, oh, like I'm almost more excited to film where I have ideas I want to do. What sports did you play growing up? I played football. I played soccer. I played volleyball. Did I lose so you, you at volleyball? No, I was thinking if you played tennis or basketball, we could get together and, or pickleball. You know what? I really, I've been wanting to play tennis. Okay. Because it go. seems so fun. What about, I think you like pickleball. It's like a lot easier to get uh, into. See, I, I don't like tennis, but I love pickleball. Really? I, yeah. I played pickleball one time. How'd you feel? And it was so much fun. It was a blast. We should, we should play. Um, as, so down as much as Patreon. you are an acquaintance. Um, for I, Patreon, let's play. I've enjoyed, don't get money hungry, all right? <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Not everything's for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes some, oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> you're a pig. Pickleball's like off. Pig. <laughs> I was about to just compliment like you. Wait, compliment me. I want to hear it. No, I just I just thought you know after the first time we met you, you know, I say a lot of out of pocket jokes. So do you. We got we got we got. Say, we're two from two different worlds. Different heaven thoughts. and hell, you might say. And we <laughs> met together. <laughs> Eternally, we won't be together. But on this earth, in this limited Eternally. time, Eternally, I, I just feel like you know we really were match made in. Uh, not heaven. Um, a match made in No, because I won't be there. Earth. A match earth. made on earth. A match made on earth. And, and I like that. Slay queen. I like you. I like you too. Like from when we like when we met and we, I was like, I like this guy. He's funny. <laughs> oh yeah. Very sarcastic. Dry sense of humor. Drier than the Sahara Desert. Dry but I like it. When Jared's with a woman, you know what I mean? Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> He's, Amen. Been He's been striking. Do you have any friends that might want to? Write his face or something like that. Oh, right, like a like women friends. Yeah, I have yeah. plenty of female friends, but a lot of them are married and have boyfriends. Well, that doesn't help. Doesn't, so. help. doesn't help at all. <laughs> nope. Do you, would they would they ride you with the red lip on? That's the real question. I Look, feel like a different person with this. <laughs> it's, so it's true. Uh, There's something about it. It's like when people say like when they get into drag, it feels like a transformation in some way. It's like the glam yeah. does that to people. Have you done a drag show recently? Absolutely not. 
Oh, and are I, you out of the and game? I wouldn't, and I just like wouldn't do drag. Like, I don't do. I don't feel like I do drag, so I wouldn't perform in drag. So you're out of the game. I was never in the game. I thought you did drag stuff. No. Yeah, but like that was like ten years ago when I was cross dressing. I thought in my head I was doing drag, but it really was just kind of like. Are you cross? Can we even say that term anymore? Cross dressing, absolutely. I thought that was offensive. What's the difference between cross dressing and drag? I think so. For me at the time, cross dressing, I thought I was being more fishy, feminine, trying to do these different like you know, be out and about and just kind of mingle with people and like being out with friends, just kind of being perceived as a woman is what I wanted to do. So like okay. skirt city population you? Absolutely. I literally like to hear. Did you have the legs for it? Sure did. Did you shave? Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> and like the little like nylons and everything. Like I was really living the fantasy with yeah. the heels. Um, and then I feel like drag can be that as well, but drag is, I feel like more of an umbrella term. So drag is very much like okay. an artistic art form. People like to perform in it, they like to do male drag, you know, different kinds of things. Drag is just like a big overarching umbrella for, you know, maybe cross-dressing is in the umbrella of drag. Gotcha, okay. This could be a fun game. So I used to live in like the deep, deep South where- mm. um, I'm already scared. You well, should be. Well, creatures like you aren't you know, creatures. accepted. <laughs> here's a fun game. game. Okay, reality show. We put you on one side of the town in full whatever- In Geesh. In Geesh. Mm -hmm. If you make it to the other side, you win a million dollars. So just walk across the town. You just gotta walk across the town. I mean, there's gonna be <laughs> shotguns, there's gonna be ropes, there's gonna be a lot of things that you're gonna have to go through. It's gonna be like a real life gay Mario. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but Bowser's coming. And boy, does he have a Southern draw. <laughs> oh, I love a Southern draw. <laughs> That's funny, because they don't like you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it just feels like such a tumultuous relationship. It's yeah, I love, love you, but hate. you don't love me. Yeah. It's very weird. It was very weird. Yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that, obviously. Obviously, because you already have millions of dollars. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can't even give me ten thousand right now. <laughs> I have my own money. I don't need that. No, give me ten thousand. I don't know why you mm, makes me so mad. Um, what time? I'm sure are we at? this is a very successful podcast. No, a lot of money. No, you'd be um, surprised. <laughs> you want to know a fun fact? This is a really fun fact, actually. How fun? Eh, six out of ten. <laughs> um, Alyssa makes more money than Jared on this podcast. T technically. So <laughs> on a per yeah. month payout Our basis. Assistance. Yeah. Wow. Because Zach and I- We don't, don't take any money out of the podcast. Everything gets funneled back into, into it because like yeah. we're building a game show there, mm. like other stuff, you know? And so like on a per month payout basis, Alyssa makes more than me. I can't wait till that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty You're much like, his I boss. Hate that. <laughs> wait, why do you hate that? I don't know. It makes me feel weird. Uh, I'm I, the one paying you. Well, that's, that's cool though. Like I feel like- like, it's like me with Lunar Beauty. Like yeah. I don't like take money from Lunar Beauty. I always like, funnel back money into the brand because exactly. I want it to be as successful as it can be. Yeah. And for me, like because I want it to be so unique and so different from other things around there. Who are you FaceTiming Dude, while busy, he's talking? Man. I love it. Um, <laughs> like I want it to be successful. Yeah, you know? no. And like, that's the thing. It's like, what am I going to use the money for? Right? Like I, I'm able to live, mm -hmm. you know, comfortably. Yes. And it's like the, the podcast could, could use you guys live more. Here? Yeah. Oh, all three of you. Yeah. <laughs> you live with these two? Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. She... Oh, Chris Olsen. Uh... <laughs> Did he hang up as soon as He's he so saw sweet. your makeup? No, I was going to FaceTime him because. Because what? You guys yeah. are both gay. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, no, yeah. I, of course. I have a gay friend. Let me introduce you. You probably, you probably know him and this time it's true. Yeah, I do. I actually and know this him. this time it's true. Um, no, I see you comment on his stuff because like we're, we're good buddies, uh, Chris and I and. Man, it is always something foul. <laughs> he's the best. Like I really, I no. enjoy his content too. Like he's so sweet. I've met him a couple times and I just really like his energy. No, he's a cool guy. He's very driven, similar thing. He went the coffee route. You went the makeup route. You guys could come together. Come together? No, not sex. Olsen. <laughs> oh, I can make that happen. So we're moving on. Okay, pop, okay. pop, 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 Rocky Road. Now you're heading up, you're heading up, you're heading up. Mm -hmm. Now take us to today. What's What's making you happy? What's making you lovely? What are some... What are, what are your passions? Maybe like a North Star you're trying to reach for? You know, I feel like my big goal with like my life is being able to get Lunar Beauty to a point where I could get it acquired by like a bigger yeah. brand, like a conglomerate, like an Estee Lauder or a L'Oreal or something um, where they see my brand and they're like, oh, we want to take it under our wing and like pay me out and things like that. I think that would be so cool. What do you think is holding it back right now from that happening? Or do you think you're on the good path? 
I think I'm in a good path, but because the size of our team and the 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 frequency in which our launches are, it just doesn't seem as realistic right now. Because I don't launch things like is that every a, month. Is that a cash flow issue where it's like since you're self funded, we got to wait for the money to come in to then be able to? It's a, it's more of like a work thing where it's yeah. like I am so not that I'm like drawn out too thin, but like I do a lot of stuff. So yeah. for me, like I let's say if I have an idea, I want to execute it to like the most best ability possible because Lunar Beauty is my brand. Like it's something I need to be like my stamp of approval on. So I don't just launch things for the fuck of it. Like I'm not doing like a launch a month just to be like, oh, well let's just make money real quick. Like I take a lot of time on my, no, I don't, (laughs) I swear. I take a lot of time on my creations and everything that I do. Um, But that also takes away from time of like doing all the Manny Amoe stuff, which is like, brand deals and I have a podcast as well and all these different things. I want a tinted, tinted sunscreen. I've decided what I want. Oh, is that what you want? <laughs> yeah. Cause it's the easiest to get in for kind of my demographic. It's like, Oh guys, want oh, to feel that's tan, your, tan yeah. as well, but also, but also protected from UV rays. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. I, do you guys wear sunscreen? No. no. What? I don't have my brand yet. <laughs> <laughs> and you my don't use brand. any other brand? No. Of sunscreen? Should we? Yes. SPF what? Like at least 35 plus. Sorry. Please, you guys. Do you guys make an SPF? We do not. Okay. So there's like a lot of testing that goes into that. It's a little bit more of a journey. Yeah. Because there's like weird rules with SPF. Especially. Yeah. Because you're protecting from the sun and you guys are lunar and it just doesn't. (laughs) Exactly. It doesn't go. It's not on brand. Can I ask a question really quick? Alyssa, what time are we at? 107. I'm so done with this. Um, I mean, (laughs) I mean, how are you? (laughs) I've had an amazing time. I've loved it. One out of 10, honestly. 10. There's no way. Six. (laughs) <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've had a great time. Do you have your own podcast? I do. It's called Full Coverage with my best friend. Okay. Do you guys have guests? We do. Would you like to be a guest? Yeah, I feel like I need to be. How long <laughs> have you do been a doing pod your swap? How long have you been doing your podcast? Um, we've been about a year and a half in. Every week. Every week. Nice. Every Friday. It's a journey, dude. Honestly, like, it's hard to get episodes up every single week. Oh, I know. Yeah, we're we're about to hit three years. Yeah, oh my God, next that's amazing. month. Oh yeah, we, you know, we're the best. I don't know what the fuck we've been talking about for, for three years. That's what I feel. I'm like, sometimes I'm like, I'm out of ideas, dude. Yeah. What the fuck are we gonna talk about? No, I know. Who's your host? Her name's Laura. Laura. She's my bestie. How long have you guys known each other? Eight years. Smash Seven or years. pass? If I was to look at her. Definite smash. She's stunning. She's married. What the and hell? Married. How long? <laughs> like a long time. <laughs> like, <laughs> she'd been with her man for like 14 years. Okay. My mom and dad were married. They didn't stop him. So, no so wonder he has the daddy issues. Down. Oh, the biggest. Down, like daddy No, not the down. biggest. You have the biggest. You don't even know who your father is. I have two moms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot. Lesbian couple mom? Forgot what? we, we you didn't have bring two, that up. Like, yeah, yeah we're on the podcast, yeah. Julie and April. Don't you think I've ever heard of <laughs> I love, no wonder I like you more. <laughs> that makes sense. That adds up. I'm also threatening. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, no, what he's talking about. So I was burnt, born through artificial insemination. Mm-hmm. And so the only name I know my father by is CB270. That was his donor name. Wow. So, and then could you technically, like, is it open ended where you can find out if you wanted to? Yeah, there's something that was passed like a little while ago that like makes it possible. I just, he's never in my life. So, so like, why? Care. Yeah, I, it's, I don't feel like I'm missing something. Totally. Yeah. I don't feel the same exact way. You could, Jared, borrow your dad on weekends to like, I'm sh- absolutely, you want to go golf, do something. Jared, I suck at golf, but I could always learn. Horrific. I'm horrific at golf. It's so bad. Like, well, sometimes it's just nice to be around someone who's passionate about something else and not always doing stuff selfishly for you. And sure. your dad. What the fuck are you talking about? I it's give and take. <laughs> His dad can go to the movies with you and you go and play golf with him, okay? Don't count it out. Is that a fair trade? I got to ask him something. When's the last time you've been penetrated? Uh, two days ago. <laughs> really? How was that? Fantastic. Where'd you meet? Grand- Grinder? No, at the are gym. Are you in a relationship? At no. the gym. Oh, okay. So this was. Are you looking to be in a relationship? I'm, like- I'm actually not. So I actually was recently uh, seeing someone. Okay, and name. we had gotten, no. We had gotten <laughs> like uh, four, maybe five dates in. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to keep it casual. Like I don't actually want to okay. be tied down right now. I'm super yeah, busy. I've never heard you say that on. before. <laughs> not right, not, not this exact moment. Yeah. Um, so I was like, no, I kind of want to do my own thing. And I want to experiment and just like have fun. You know, especially like right now, like I've been on this like workout journey truly have never been as like fit as I am in my life. And I get, you know, I just want to like have fun with that. Like, yeah. I want to do that. I want to focus on that and like focus on me and not on someone else. That Are is, you in a relationship? No. Do you want to be? With you? No. <laughs> <laughs> with your ex? I'll do it with a palette. If you, I'll be in a relationship with you for a palette. No, sunscreen. What am I doing? Um, question. The guys at the gym who approached who? 
was working out right next to me. Did and then we kind of like look at each other. Oh. And I was like, oh, hi, like nice to meet you. He was literally right next to me. So um, I don't know what it was, whether I like dropped my water bottle and he looked at me or something. Ooh, I was that was like, move. hi. No, it was on accident, but wow. we said hello and we just kind of hit it off. We became like friends and then it became, I added him to my close friends. Ooh. I was posting thoughty things on my close friends on purpose. <laughs> he saw it, responded to it. I want to pound you. I said, down. He just said that? Yeah, he literally was like, I want to be inside you. And I said, work. That's wow. the, Jared, if we do that to women, on a list immediately, hashtag on Twitter. Games no, it's because it so I, I, was, I was like, but I literally posted like an ass pick. Like I was like, trying to do that. I do appreciate you not putting me on your close friends. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add you next. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, this is on my alt Instagram. That's not even like, it's not my Manny MUA one. Oh, okay. What's that uh, at? <laughs> <laughs> the silence was They're so really... loud. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. It's a battle. And then, no, so it was fun. So we ended up like, just like fooling around a couple days ago. And when you say fooling around. Penetration. Condom? Why would you not, <laughs> sir? I'm on prep. But yeah, no, I, we talked about that before too. Well, AIDS isn't really a big deal anymore anyway, right? I mean, it definitely is. <laughs> I thought you were like a pill away from being golden. Well, what I'm saying is like, I <laughs> take prep. So that's- Oh, that's, get, like, that's AIDS? Like It's not AIDS. AIDS away? It's HIV. prep is basically like, uh, it's like prevention. It's like HIV prevention. Oh, it's like pill. Powerade, but different. Think of it like, the pill, like the pill for women, like to not get pregnant. It's kind of like the version of that for to not have HIV. So I take that. I take that every day. Christian definitely didn't develop that. Tell you that much. Sure didn't. That's big pharma right there. <laughs> but that's you love the big devil. pharma. <laughs> that's the devil right there. That's the water boy. <laughs> that, my mama said that was the devil. devil. <laughs> yeah, that is, is the devil. And then last night you called me and, and you were you wanted to talk about how you love big pharma and how they fueled the um, opioid crisis and killed oh. a lot of people. Did you want to get into that? Or maybe another podcast. Not, I think that's a different time. It's a different time. Yeah, this different one's more about makeup. When I'm on here again, then we'll into get that. into. Let's see how the numbers go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Manny MUA, huh? <laughs> it's so fun to have you here. I loved it. I re- that was the best six I've ever had. Hell six yeah! Six out of ten. <laughs> I've six. heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> In your case, best four. <laughs> He's gonna put a bullet in his No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You guys are very sarcastic. I was like, I feel like I can get a little more sarcastic no. with you guys. With someone who's on suicide watch, you think that's funny? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's um, your fault. Anyway, put his name in the letter. Bye. Uh, oh, that uh, you guys can find him on. Uh, Manny MUA 733 on everything. Why 733? Why never just. I'd, Manny MUA wasn't available at the time. Is it? I'm sure it's available now. It is, but someone else has that. So I'm not gonna like do that. Come on. Are they? Do they do makeup? Yes. Are they successful? Yes. We'll have to you're like, do well, some research. You're like, well, shit. Have you worked with them? No. Have you ever done Never talked them? to them. We never even spoke once. That's interesting. But I was like, at the time when I had started, I never thought it was going to be what it was. I was literally just, my name's Manny and I was a makeup artist. So that's just like what it was. Yeah. What are you doing? Taking a picture. Wow. <laughs> that's a little fucking close with the back camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's for a spank bank Spooky. later. Oh, like, it's for the spank bank. Yeah. You look like Miss like Girl. Um, Miss Girl? Is that, dude, I've heard a gay person say that. So I Miss know you guys girl. like it. No, I mean, I'm just surprised you said it. Yeah. Okay, Miss Girl. I go off when I can. Um, go off. Uh, you can find him there and his palette, uh, themoon.com. <laughs> Luna, what was it? Luna. <laughs> Luna lovers. lovers. <laughs> Luna lovers. Oh, wow. Lunarbeauty.com. Lunarbeauty.com. And you'll see my sunscreen soon. Dropouts 10%. We can't guarantee that. We but can't guarantee that. <laughs> I guarantee I it. I can't even guarantee that. <laughs> um, look down this camera and I don't really. Bye, guys. Oh, wow. wait. If you stay till the end. Oh, uh, Alyssa did our makeup on Patreon. Uh, and uh, DM me a picture of menu. MUA from 2014. All right. Menu MUA. Thank you guys. <laughs> it's because I said menu because you're a snack. Men- Let's go. Oh, there you go. Good. Send that us out. Good. Bye, guys. That was good. I said menu because you're a snack. That was really good. Do, do you think we have a future in this?